What's up, Table Tennis Nerds? Welcome back to the Limitless Channel, Row 2 1550 TTR Week 17, Part 3. And as promised, here is the game with Leon 1641 TTR. Super weird style, super fun to play him. And let's see how it went. Should we go away from the table here first off? Should stay close to the table and pressure. As you can see, lost the point there because of that. In Venezuela, they always play. Oh man, I always have to think. It should be best of nine. Yeah, best of nine. So you, you can, the, the longest possible outcome is always 5 4. And yeah. He. Uh, <laughs> this was ridiculous. I thought I had the point and then uh, didn't get back in time. So I won the first set. And. He was very cautious with receiving my serve, which um, yeah gave me the opportunity for easy third ball. And he varies his play a lot, as you can see. And also his serves, he varies them. I kept doing the same serve. Could, even I had the feeling I could go even, go more risk with my third ball attacks against him. Yeah, he had varied it into his forehand once, but as you can see, he handled it better. Yeah, here a little more pressure on him. And here, yeah, the parallel is also a good idea. But as you can see, yeah, he's, he's, not, he's not a bad player at all. And yeah, he, he goes, he's an all-rounder, so he, he also... Def uh, goes to uh, defend a lot and you never know what's coming I took the ball very early there but <laughs> almost he did the same thing again and I wouldn't have been ready nice placement here and then to the ball for him I think this is the third set. I think I won the first three onto the fourth here. It was also funny because <laughs> the guy's sitting there and shit talking all the time. <laughs> it's quite a funny situation. I struggled with some of his serves, I remember. I think I'm gonna show that a little bit but not too much eh? with his serves it's not that big of a problem yeah nice rally again nice little rally there <laughs> wasn't ready for that yeah won the one, two, three, four, and the fourth set also. And so only one more to go if I could if I could win again. So let's see. I think in this set I, I went down, yeah, I went down early. That's um, I did a lot of mistakes, so uh, the points I made, I was very loose and, and trying to have a lot of quality, like risk more. I think if, if you want to rewind, you can see that the shots look very good. So yeah, that tells me <laughs> maybe that should be my general idea when playing. But uh, if the pressure is off, because I mean, there's not much pressure in the training match. But if uh, if the pressure is completely off, you you can just yeah do whatever you feel like doing and risk more. Because I think it was like a two or something, so I started playing a little more risky. So let's take closer and closer, get closer and closer to the table and try to add more pressure. Yeah, lately if you follow, like he won that one, so it's 4-1 now. So if you follow, you know that I'm working on getting the forehand top spins more dangerous. So not just better from, from the movement structure, but also more dangerous, at least in, when I play exercises. And in games here and there, I, I think... I already do. Yeah, here you can see one of the examples of my uh, surf. Also here, it's not optimal how I how I answer the surf. And 
Yeah, I try to, to play harder top, foreign top spins when I can. And in training, this goes um, already. It seems to be not as hard as I thought, especially against backspin balls. So that's what I really try to yeah, add to my repertoire in game too. And um, yeah, really, when, when I read the comment, the guy saying, yeah, his, his forehand legs power, but his backhand compensates for that. I'm like, um, okay. So next video of myself, I analyze, I'm like, shit, he's, he's dead on. Um, it's really the, the case. That's not, I think, because in training, in, in exercises, I sometimes anyways play harder top spins with the forehand, but in games, in matches, I get more gun shy because I'm I'm afraid to fail so with the forehand so yeah that's why this may be even more so in game but I'm I'm definitely thinking about this all the time now and working on it to have a harder more more point making forehand talks than so yeah it was so much fun 5-4 at the end for me so he he won Three sets in a row, no, four sets in a row, and then I won the final set here with Yannick again in Bexbach, exercise time. Just played some uh, free, free top spins into his forehand. And yeah, again, timing, timing is an issue. Here I start with um, what I just talked about. I wanted to get more, more harder top spins against backspin. And here you can see it, it already looks, looks okay. It, it's, I'm fine with that and also the second one that comes back I'm able to quickly take it and still put some quality and speed on the ball so it's very good and it did take me 50, 50 tries to film these so this is pretty much we didn't do that for long and I was able like 85-90% of the first top spins came so like here so pretty pretty happy with that and I definitely gone keep doing this. This was the Friday session I had two days off, which is unlikely, but I really had two days off from table tennis and yeah, here I mixed in some slow and spinny ones too, like these ones. So I want to train obviously both, still my touch and the speed. And here you see a more speedy one again. Here more speedy to, to the uh, parallel side. Yeah. Definitely, that's what I'm working on at the moment. And even more while playing the match to not focus at all on the points, uh, just on the right decision making and then pulling through with what I should do and not being gun shy. And then Yannick wanted to practice uh, his backhand openness and um, I took the opportunity to practice my counter, short counter spin movement with the forehand. Yeah. And then we played matches. And <laughs> this day it was super nice topspin from half distance. Backhand. So this day it was uh, challenging because of the sun. <laughs> but yeah. Sometimes you play in weird places where the sun is an issue or the light is, is uh, in general an issue. So yeah. In the lower leagues, I think you have to be able to conquer all these little, little challenges. I always try to attack Yannick's serve. He, in my opinion, he should make it shorter, his backspin serve. Because most of them you can attack with the forehand. What he wants is a push into his forehand so he can attack. So yeah, he should definitely work on this. But I like the idea that he does he focuses on mainly one serve now because he's a guy as you can see he has not many ttr points i think he plays better than that especially <laughs> against me uh, he causes a lot of trouble as you can see he brings back everything maybe he just knows me so well but he brings back everything but in games saturday he he makes way more mistakes and also serve mistakes so i think for him it's so beneficial to focus on only one serve for now and learning how to make it better and better and play with the placement and yeah this this one uh, placement was was better and i don't think that in the league we play many people will topspin it 
if it's a half long or shorter. Most people will push. Yeah, and he, he got way better of um, re receiving my long serve uh, with a topspin. So I have to get better at blocking. Because they come pretty empty but relatively fast. So I can view work on blocking and sometimes even putting a topspin. Yeah, I play with Christine here. She, uh, right in the first set, I noticed she has extreme trouble with my serve. And so after the set, I explained her how to return it. And also her serves are a bad choice, I think. Really bad choice. Here again, you see, I can just easily attack every serve of hers and she's in the, in the defense. So here I explained her how to receive my serves. And then we play another set where I just did the serves all the time she could receive. And after this set, I explained her why I think her serves are not the best choice for her. She's very good in pushing, very safe in that, and she's good in opening with the forehand. So I told her, hey, you, you are your only choice is short backspin serves, low over the net, with as much spin as you possibly can put on to your opponent's short forehand. Because she plays lower, uh, even two leagues lower than we play, and it's very low level there. And she will be able to win a ton of games with this strategy. I'm so sure about that. Because as you can see, her pushing is great. And this also, like her open up. So if she, yeah, this serve came closer to what I uh, advised her to. And as you can see also her, her backhand um, flips there are okay. So I advised her to only do this serve now and then see how it goes. And then we played a set and she was only doing this serve and it went better for her. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and see you soon.